Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a vlog. I don't know how many days it's gonna be. Probably not a weekly vlog. Maybe just like three or four days. I don't know. Today it's Monday. Somehow, some way, I've been working on my computer for a while. It's already 12.56, so almost 1 p.m., aka it's gonna get dark out in like an hour. I have a pretty busy week for the rest of the week. It's Thanksgiving this week, so obviously it's busy because of that and just like other things as well that I have to get done. Today is kind of like my most chill day of the week and then starting tomorrow it's like go 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 i have to run a ton of errands i have a ton of stuff that i need to like pre-film for december so i have a very busy next couple of days besides today and i figured today is the day that i can like spend some time um organizing because when my place is like really messy and things aren't you know as pristine as they can be i get very stressed out so we need to go through my closet and then i also want to like clean my oven because my oven is so dirty oh but i ran out of like what i would use to clean it with i might have to do that tomorrow because i don't feel like leaving the house today besides that we need to organize my closet because when i show you guys what it looks like it's a disaster in there it's mostly because i ran out of hangers but like i really have no excuse for like how bad it looks and because of that i have like no clothes like i just threw this on i have nothing i can't find anything that i like to wear so we need to organize the closet and i also want to go through and organize my fridge because tomorrow i'm gonna do a little grocery shop i think and then like obviously from thanksgiving i'm gonna have like so many leftovers probably from my mom and stuff so i want to just have space in my fridge and like my freezer is just like there's so much stuff in there that i haven't even used since i moved in here so i want to go through that kind of like a boring day but like very necessary i hate having a messy space and then going out and doing errands and bringing like new groceries into an already messy fridge like i just can't I can't shove things into the fridge. We need things to be nice and clean. I'm having my second cup of coffee of the day and we're gonna start with a closet cause I wanna empty out my fridge and then be able to just put my trash out in the hallway for like the trash valet people to come and get it. Probably gonna be heavy and I don't feel like carrying it myself but they don't allow us to put trash out until like 5 p.m. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait as long as possible. I also don't wanna like stink up the hallway <laughs> with a bunch of stuff from my fridge that I'm throwing out. Like nobody wants stinky food in the hallway so we'll wait to do that for a couple hours but first things first we're gonna go through the closet which i'm gonna be so embarrassed to share no wonder my outfits have been so ugly recently because i don't know where anything is all right i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of terrified to open this door and share this with you guys because it's so bad i don't know how like let's see if you can if you can see oh i can't even open the door past here because there are clothes all over the floor i really truly don't know how it gets so bad in here. So I have like, you know, some stuff hung up up here. This stuff, neither here nor there. I don't care about that. I don't care about like this overflowing out of the baskets. Like I can live with that, okay? What I can't live with is this. This is like half of the stuff that I just got sent from Revolve last month. Um, and then a bunch of clothes that I've washed. Like some of this is clean, some of this is dirty. Like this area over here is bad. I need to go through and figure out what I need to wash. Like I have not been able to find any jeans that I like, any sweatshirts that I like, any sweatpants that I like, any shirts. It's more so, it's become a pretty big issue because I ran out of hangers. Um, I need to go buy more hangers, but I also like ran out of space. So it's like hangers, you know, are one thing, but like I don't have enough space to even put hangers up, but I do have like some free hangers right here. I just know I'm gonna run out of them very quickly and it's not gonna be enough to hang all this stuff up. But I really wanna hang up as much of the Revolve pieces that they sent me as possible because those are like expensive and they're brand new and I wanna be able to wear them at some point. So this is a disaster, you guys. I think what I'm gonna do is take it all out and put it on my bed and then go from there because this closet is like too small of a room for me to be like working in and filming in. So let's just remove all this stuff, go through what's clean, what's dirty, and then go from there.
I hung up a lot of the Revolve stuff over here and just like tops that I want to wear more. So those are all like new things and a lot, a lot of things that I just wear frequently. And then I have like the rest of my tops. These are my pants. They go into, they're supposed to go into sweatpants, but I just have them all as pants. And then sweatshirts are back here. This little storage system from the container store, um, you just buy them all individually or I think like in six packs. And then they store my sneakers. So all my like nicer sneakers for the most part are in there. Chaos up here with heels, but it's definitely better. At least we can see the floor. Out here looks worse, of course, but I have like, this is all stuff that needs to go in the laundry. This is stuff that needs to be put in like different areas of my house, like not in the closet. Um, I have all these pants left to hang up and I only have those hangers right over there. So pray for me. I have like literally like 25 pairs of pants. <laughs> I'm trying you guys. This is one of those things where it looks worse before it looks better, but at least we can see the floor, like I said. So that's progress. Honestly, can't even consider tackling this door um, hanger thing right now. It has a bunch of sweatshirts on it that are pretty much all clean. So I'm just gonna leave that be since I don't have any hangers as is. I need to make a run to Target probably tomorrow as well. So I'll pick up a couple packs of hangers then. I do have down here some jeans, sweatpants, sweatshirts, those sorts of things that didn't make the cut, but it's so much better. Um, it's not aesthetically pleasing. That'll be something I think I'll tackle in 2024 is making it like actually look nice in here and maybe upgrading my hangers to non-plastic ones and like just make it look very organized. But for now, this is pretty good. It's no longer a big mound of clothes here. It's actually a few hours later or quite a few hours later. It's nighttime now. It's like, what time is it? 8 30 and i'm getting ready for bed i didn't show me going through my fridge because i thought about it and i was like is it really that interesting to just see me throw stuff out in my fridge i don't know if you guys want to see stuff like that let me know i just kind of had a, a moment with myself where i was like maybe i don't need to show that maybe it's not actually that interesting i'm about to do my nightly skincare routine i took a shower and i blow dried my hair i just kind of did a rough blow dry because tomorrow morning i'm gonna wake up nice and early at the crack of dawn and go get a workout in after my workout i'll just go and blow dry it and try and make it look a little bit better but i thought i could share my nightly skincare routine if you guys have any product recommendations from like sephora ulta whatever target even that is good for sensitive skin let me know because i'm always down to try new stuff um, but I just thought I would share what I'm currently using and I'll leave it all linked down below these I have like three left of I love these the Elemis dynamic resurfacing facial pads I was sent these in a PR package I really don't know how they got my address um, and I had never really heard of the skincare brands before but they're sold in like Sephora and stuff and they're kind of pricey um, they sent me a bunch of stuff from them and I do use quite a few things So this is their facial pads and I go in with one of those first I'm not gonna wash my face because in the shower. I already um, washed my face. I used my Curology Face wash. I love it. Not sponsored. I just really Think it's a good face wash. So I use that in the shower. I've been loving washing my face um, during my morning and night showers because it's just so much easier. You don't have to worry about like getting water all over your counter and I just find that I'm more consistent with washing my face really well 
when I'm in the shower. So I already did that and now I'm just kind of doing all the extra stuff. So after I use one of these facial pads, I go in with the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. I did not know this was like super popular. I just bought it at Target because my Target has an Ulta. I think they sell this at Ulta. I bought it on a whim and I love it. Guys, I just heard such loud noises coming from my laundry because I have some laundry in the dryer right now. One of the drawstrings on one of my pairs of pants or something just got caught in the laundry, like in the dryer. So I need to go attend to that after. I just left it as is for a second because I can't deal with that. But Ordinary Toner is my next step after I do the facial pads. I just used this pad by accident from the facial pads to put the toner on with. I don't normally do that, but I was getting a little bit sidetracked and I messed up. I have a very basic skincare routine. The next thing I'm going to do is the LMS superfood facial oil i don't love this to be honest i really like a lot of the products that they sent me but this facial oil is just kind of eh. i really like the um the ordinary ones a little bit more and before that i was using um peach and lily this is like my favorite skincare brands i really just need to get more of this stuff i used up i just finished this today actually the glass skin veil mist from peach and lily this stuff is so good and i've been seeing so many people post about peach and lily recently and my friend who's like super into skincare she got me hooked on them and it's so good this brand in general is just incredible i really need to get this veil skin mist it's the glass skin veil mist it literally makes your face look like glass like it's so hydrating uh, but i ran out today so none of that unfortunately tonight as well but that's one of my like new holy grail products now that i put the oil on i'm gonna go in with the sorry this is a lot of elements but this is just what i have right now and i like it it's the pro collagen marine cream it has a scent that like is very familiar to me and i don't know why but i don't like it that much but it does make my skin like really moisturized if you can see. So I put that on and now I go in double moisturizer for nighttime. This is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. This one is super, super thick, but I really like to add a lot on, especially now that we're going into winter. I need like all the moisturizer that I can get. I tend to have really dry skin in the winter, so I'm trying to combat that as much as I can. I always give compliments on my skin like in real life and on my videos and stuff and I never really think that I have like that good of skin. Really I've been breaking out a little bit on like my jawline which is like very unlike my skin but it's just going through some changes so I'm trying to adapt the best that I can and now I need a new eye cream but I have like a million of these little Clinique all about eyes eye creams and I've just been using them up. I don't really know if it does a single thing for like the rest of the year i'm just like really focused on doing everything i can to focus on me and make myself feel a lot better and feel really good going into 2024 because can you believe it we are already talking about 2024 the year went by so fast but that's everything i do for my skincare normally right now i would spray on like 10 sprays of this peach and lily facial spray but since i'm out we're gonna have to wait on that. It's literally only 8 30 and I'm getting ready for bed. I want to just get in bed and like edit on my computer for a little bit. I'm gonna take my contacts out. I'm also gonna brush my teeth. If anybody cares, I use the Crest 3D White Advanced Radiance Mint. I showed my dentist the way that I floss and then I found out that I wasn't flossing the right way. You have to go like in between the teeth. Well, obviously in between the teeth, but you have to go like up inside the gum and i wasn't doing that she told me how to do it the right way so i've been really focusing on that i use these from target the grin fine tight teeth because my teeth are like i didn't have braces i don't know why my dentist told me when i was younger that i didn't need braces and i don't really have like the straightest teeth so they're like really tight together <sighs> this is such riveting content we have going on here today now i'm gonna use one of these floss and then for mouthwash, I hate this mouthwash. I need to re-up on my favorite, but this is the Listerine Ultra Clean. That's the mouthwash I'm gonna use. I don't like this because it's too minty. It like burns my mouth, it's so minty. I need a reminder to floss, here it is. I know it sucks, like I literally hate it, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm also gonna take my contacts out, but there's my nighttime skincare routine. 
literally nothing crazy but i do notice that i wake up in the morning very moisturized still and before i did like the oils and stuff i would wake up very dry so i love that i hope you enjoyed now i'm gonna have to go tend to my dryer and figure out how the heck i'm gonna get that drawstring out of the dryer maybe i'll show you guys but it's just it's a disaster right now It is the next day, um, it's currently one o'clock. I woke up at five this morning, went and had a workout. I filmed some stuff for my other channel and then I went to a coffee shop and got some editing done. It's just like my local coffee shop. It's always so busy there. I really don't like the coffee there, but it's just cuter vibes and they have good food there, but I didn't end up getting any food because the line was just like taking so long. So I decided to not get food. I did get Dunkin' though. I'm about to go to BJ's right now. I have a nail appointment at four o'clock. It's one o'clock now. From Dunkin', I got my go-to, which is the Everything um, Bagel Mini Bites. This is what they look like. And then I always get hash browns on the side and I take a bite out of the bagel minis and then I stuff a hash brown inside and it's like the perfect little bagel mini sandwich. So I got that. And then I also got like a lemon donut or something. I don't know. I just was like really hungry and I kind of have a headache. I don't know why I didn't eat at the coffee shop, but I have a headache and I need to like do a bunch of things right now. So we're going to go to BJ's. I've been obsessed with bulk buying, like buying just like a ton of stuff. Um, I think it was two months ago that I went to BJ's and hauled it with you guys and I got toilet paper, paper towels, all that stuff. It's been pretty much exactly two months and I still have three rolls left of paper towels but I'm gonna re-up on those today and I haven't even put a dent in my toilet paper. It's just so crazy because I swear before that I was like at Target every couple weeks buying paper towels, toilet paper, like I buy my cat litter there now, I buy cat food there. It's just kind of crazy. I feel like I'm saving money even though you're buying everything up front for a more expensive price but then like I don't have to go to Target all the time and just like get paper towels but then browse around the whole store and end up spending like $150 on random stuff so I feel like I'm saving money because I don't have to leave the house as often to get all these things just filled up my tank pretty much good 30 bucks this is why I love the Hyundai because 30 bucks fills up my tank and gets me gas for like a week and a half so I love this thing I'm gonna miss it when I get a bigger car and my gas is more to fill up my tank But it's nice while it lasts made it to BJ's But I just thought I would demonstrate for all of you out there how I eat these because I waited to eat them until I got here It's a quick drive. Here's the Dunkin Everything bagel bites. These are good and the plain ones are also really good I feel like these are an underrated Dunkin item. I don't hear people talking about them very often, but it's great because it's a cream cheese bagel without the mess like it's all just in one piece you know little piece like that i think i saw this on tiktok this hash brown has a piece of bacon on it but then i just stuff the hash brown inside the pocket that i created and then you have like a hash brown bagel bite it's so good i wish i had hot sauce and enjoy this and then we'll go into BJ's which I didn't think it through and it's so busy because Thanksgiving is in two days so it's gonna be a crazy crazy mess in there so cute with the Christmas tree in the back but I just got back from BJ's somehow well I know how but it was $150 and over with I'll give you guys a quick haul of the stuff I got I actually just called my nail salon because it's 2 20 my appointment wasn't supposed to be until 4 but since I finished up earlier than usual I called them and he said I can come right now so I was like okay I'll be there in 20 minutes like I need to change I'm gonna see if they can do a pedicure as well I didn't ask on the phone I should have but if they can't, it's okay. I mostly just want to get my nails done because I hate how my hands look without polish on them. Let's go through the couple things I got at BJ's. I really didn't get that much fun stuff, to be honest. Already so dark, like the nightlight is already turned on because it's so 
dark out already at 2 p.m. But I got a rotisserie chicken. I'm actually really excited tonight. We're gonna make, um, I think like a corn Mexican style soup. I don't know, it's gonna be like corn, jalapenos, chicken, forget what else. I looked up a recipe and I'm gonna kinda wing it, but it sounded pretty good. So we're gonna do that. So I needed chicken, of course, and they just were so much cheaper at BJ's than if I got it at Stop and Shop or something. Then I got more of these little laundry beads. These ones are the light version, downy light ocean mist. They smell pretty good. Got a three pack of this, um, antibacterial spray so just for reference like the three pack of this was i think eleven dollars at bj's and obviously like each of these would be well i guess i only saved like a dollar <laughs> i don't know each of these would probably be like a little over four dollars individually at target or something so at least now i'm set on this and then i also got some airwick little things i have a bunch of these but i can never have enough so i got the waterfall mist ones this is what i'm most excited about the anchor i don't know what that brand is but it's five little glass meal prep containers and i actually needed these for an upcoming meal prep video i needed glass containers that could go in the oven and these can go in the oven up to 425 so i'm excited this was ten dollars for glass containers and i feel like at target each of these would be like six dollars so i thought this was a really good deal i only got eight items in total so that's one two three four five other things are big things so i got a big thing of paper towels 12 rolls that are like pretty big and then i got some cat litter and the last thing i got was cat food but i already put that away so there's my whole haul i'm gonna quickly change into some sweatpants and like a comfy sweatshirt and head over to the nail salon. I'm so excited. I haven't had my nails done in so long. I'm gonna see, maybe they'll put like some extensions on them to make them look a little bit better, but I'm just so excited. I don't even know what color I'm gonna do. Okay, here's the final before. I have like, I think this is a hangnail on this nail and it's been snagging on everything. It's been hurting so bad and I just feel like they look so sad without any color or like polish on them. So I always get dip. I don't know what color I'm gonna do or if I'm gonna do French. I don't know if I wanna do a neutral or like a red, I don't know, but the dip at this nail salon that I go to lasts for like oh, over a month. It can last for like six weeks. So I gotta pick a color that I'm gonna like for the next like four to five weeks. They never fail me in there though, so I have faith. I just realized I haven't even talked to you since the nail salon. So these are what my nails look like. Hopefully it picks up on camera and hopefully they're not dirty from me cooking. I did just wash my hands, but you never know. I'm so happy with them. I ended up putting little extensions on them and I got the same color on my toes. It's OPI Let's Be Friends. I get dip on my hands. Normally I just do my natural nails, but she added extensions on a couple of them just cause they weren't all even. And I love this color. It's like the perfect white pink. I just like neutral stuff. You guys know this. Well, I'm in a neutral phase right now. So this is perfect. I took a shower 
took off my makeup and now we're making soup. I'm making like a street corn Mexican spicy soup. I don't know. I just kind of saw like something kind of inspired by it on Pinterest and I was like, I'm gonna try and make something of that. I have the onions and the jalapenos sauteing and they're pretty much soft now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in, um, I have all of this, um, I have all this shredded chicken from the rotisserie chicken that I got at BJ's. This is why rotisserie chicken is the best for like soups and things like this where you just need shredded chicken because you don't have to like boil the chicken or cook it and then shred it yourself. It just falls apart in your hand. So I'm gonna add that in and then what else am I gonna add in? I'm gonna turn the heat down to like really low right now. I'm gonna add in this whole thing of chicken broth, which I kind of think I should have gotten two, so I might put heavy cream in the soup as well so I can have more liquid because I only bought one of these. The recipe I was looking at earlier today just said four cups worth and this is four cups. So we'll see if I have enough. I'm also gonna add in this can. So we'll just add some extra spice. So yeah, in here there is a lot of spice. There's three jalapenos and one yellow onion. The yellow onion was murdering my eyes. My eyes were watering so much I couldn't stand it anymore, but I chopped all that up and added it in there with a bunch of oil and I want them to be like nice and soft because that's how I like them. So cook them down really good. I'm also gonna add in some corn and then of course like spices and cilantro and lime juice. You guys will see as we go along. I'm sorry, I didn't take all the ingredients out. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of my new hot sauce, I think. This Goya hot sauce I think will be really good in it. So I'll add a couple squirts of that. Yeah, let's just keep going because I'm so hungry. It is 8.42 somehow. So we need to get going here. for y'all so I just added in salt black pepper paprika and onion powder and if I had garlic powder or fresh garlic or minced garlic I would add that in right now but I just ran out of minced garlic so um, I'm not gonna add that since I don't have it obviously but I did add in like half a pint of heavy cream because it just felt way too thick without it it did make it really light but that's okay Oh, I need to get some lime. I'm gonna get some lime juice right now and add that in. I'm saving a slice of lime for the garnish just so you guys know if you wanna make it look pretty as well. Now we're just gonna juice in pretty much a full lime and I have this on like a medium low heat right now. These limes are really tough. There really weren't many limes at the grocery store. They were out of like everything. Okay, and the other half, here we go, lime juice is in. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't know. I'm gonna look in my notes app right now and see what I have written down just in case. You could add some Greek yogurt to this as well instead of heavy cream. Sometimes you just have to be careful with adding Greek yogurt though to like hot dishes because it can separate, at least in my experience it can. So I opted for the heavy cream instead, which I might regret because now I need to go out tomorrow morning and buy more heavy cream. And I hope that the grocery stores didn't sell out of it because I need heavy cream for my Thanksgiving mac and cheese recipe. So I might have just screwed myself massively. Something else that we're gonna add towards the end, but I don't wanna forget about it, is some pepper jack cheese. This is Monterey Jack cheese with jalapeno and habanero peppers in it. So we're gonna add some of this towards the end. I don't know if I'm gonna add it into the soup or just as a topping, but you do need this. I like wanna add a little bit of my hot sauce just cause, but I do fear that this is going to be an extremely spicy soup as is. So it probably doesn't need much hot sauce because I put in a million jalapenos. I'm also gonna top it off with some avocado slices. And finally, I have some fresh cilantro here. I'm gonna chop up a handful of this and add it to the soup as well, but I'm also gonna use it as garnish. But that's pretty much everything. I'm just gonna kind of put this on a low heat and let it simmer for a while and just let the flavors kind of mend together and then I'll taste it in a little bit and see if it needs any of the additional seasonings. 
I put a decent amount of salt in it, so hopefully it's good as is. Ugh, it smells really delish though. And I'm excited because I'm gonna have so many leftovers. Amazing. You guys are gonna have to ignore the TV in the background. I'm a little bit too tired to go over there and pause it, but I'm so excited to eat this soup. So we topped it off. The lime is just for show, for a picture and such, but we topped it off with lime, pepper jack cheese, cilantro. I did end up mixing, I had some like extra sour cream right here and I mixed it with a bunch of water to make it like really liquidy. It was just like the very end of this container of sour cream. So I mixed it with water, made it really liquidy and I drizzled that on top, added more cilantro for garnish and some avocado. I think this is gonna be so good. And I also think the sour cream on top will balance out the insane spiciness of this soup. I will report back to you guys with how spicy it is in a second, but I'm just excited to dig in because I'm so hungry right now. It is a few days later and I came on to end off this vlog because I think it's long enough as it is and I have so many more vlogs coming. I literally am sitting in my bed. It's the day after Thanksgiving and I've been editing for pretty much the whole day. I finished editing this vlog and I have like four more videos to edit and hopefully post. Two of them are sponsored so I don't know when those are gonna go up. But yeah, I have tons of new vlogs on the way. I feel like I've just been vlogging so much more and like filming for YouTube way more than I typically do. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's cozy vlog as pretty much all of my vlogs are just nice cozy vibes I don't know what it is like the day after Thanksgiving I just get so tired I have been vlogging the past couple days for a separate video that you guys will see very soon today I'm just chilling in bed I was on my couch for a little bit but I've just been kind of rotting away editing and I wanted to end off this vlog in a nice way rather than just like ghosting you guys at the end so hopefully you enjoyed give it a thumbs up subscribe follow me on tiktok youtube well we are on youtube instagram is what I meant to say and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you in the next one very soon